Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. The National Science Foundation has awarded Indiana University two grants to expand high-speed computing network services. The university will receive two $4.6 million awards, one to bolster an existing connection, allowing high-speed data transfer between the United States and the Asia-Pacific region, and a second to create a similar network linking the U.S. and Europe. IU President Michael McRobbie says he has high hopes for the networks. This is the future of scientific research in the 21st century. This era, era of science will be dramatically different from what we have known in the past. It will be vastly more complicated and vastly more computationally intensive and also much more widely distributed. In fact, it will span the globe. IU Vice President for Information Technology Brad Wheeler says the European network could also allow for everything from more stable video conferencing to transmitting results of experiments at Switzerland's Large Hadron Collider, which are trying to recreate conditions not seen since the first few seconds after the creation of the universe. The Monroe County prosecutor filed charges Tuesday against 19-year-old Wilson Wood. The Bloomington resident was linked with a fatal boating accident last month on Lake Monroe. Two lives were taken. A woman and her grandson died after the boat they were in collided with another operated by Wood. He's charged with two counts of leaving the scene of a boat collision resulting in death. Close but not quite for the foundation of Monroe County Community Schools fundraising efforts. A push to restore extracurricular stipends goal of $750,000 was not met as of August 1st to support local extracurricular activities. The donation drive, which started in early July and managed to collect a total of $675,000, the funds will be used to pay stipend to school employees involved in extracurricular activities. And now let's take a look at your weather tonight. Partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, lows in the mid 60s. Tomorrow mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the mid 90s. Tomorrow night partly cloudy with a 30% chance of thunderstorms, lows around 70. And looking forward to your five-day forecast on Thursday, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms, highs in the upper 90s, lows in the lower 70s. Friday mostly clear, highs in the mid 90s.